In this video, we're going to take a look at creating our first HTML site. Now, one thing we could do is we could use something like Notepad or Notepad++ and work locally. I'm going to work off Replit mainly because it saves everything in the cloud and I don't have to worry about saving anything and joining things up. So what I'm going to do is create a new website. Like that, I'm going to get rid of Ghostwriter, don't need that. And it puts all our bits in, it gives us a script. We have to make that. So if you want to put some scripting in there, which we'll do later on, if I want to make uh, some CSS, which we'll look at again later on, I can do all that. And then I can get rid of all this stuff. I don't need the script, but I'll leave it in there for now. And I'll get rid of this one. So this is our, our site. So in HTML, we have the head, which is where we put all of our links to style sheets, to scripts, to any imported libraries. And we can also put in our title tag. So I can do title. And I can just put uh, first site. Now, what's quite good, um, if, I think what you'll notice as well is that you won't see anything when I put this title on there. But if I make this a new window, um, it will change. If it's a proper website anyway, it'll change this here. Now, because we're using Replit, you don't really see much in the way of this. Um, but if I did it in a local file, you would see that it's just because it's Replit and Replit is Replit and it does its own thing. Um, I think you can get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Let's run that. I think you can see it. There you go. First site. So that changes the tab of your website. Um, but as I said, Replit Automatic puts their own in, so you have to make sure you delete that out if you want it to work. Now, let's get rid of this. So need that. I don't actually need script.js, so I'll leave that as well. So in HTML, all of your tags are in these little uh, less than and greater than signs. If you want to finish a tag, put a slash there as well okay so there's a bunch of tags that you need to know um depending on which course you're doing so if you're doing the ctech which is what this is primarily uh, primarily aimed at you need to know how to make a full website so you need to know a lot more tags if you're doing the GC, uh, gcc or the a level the gcc you don't need to you need to know absolutely bugger all um for the a level i just gone to the specification there's a certain amount of tags you need to know but it helps both courses, so I'm going to do these together. So if we go into the spec, I scroll right to the bottom. You see it tells us, or pretty much to the bottom anyway. Um, let's keep going, let's keep going. There we go. We need to know these tags. So we need link, which links to a CSS, which is giving it for us. We need to know the title, which we've just done. Body, which is where you put all your content, things you want to see. So if I want to say like that, maybe not put that I can see that on the screen there that's content so our actual things you want to see we need to know these different ones here so we're just going to go through and I'm going to teach you each of these probably won't bother with form just yet and input but we'll do all these ones here so you've got h1 h2 all the way to h6 and now the first time you do it and when you're doing just html h3 h4 h5 I need H6 as well, but we'll worry about that later on. What you'll see is they change in size. Now, when we get CSS, it, this part becomes a lot, um, a lot less important because you can just change anyway. You can change the font size and things. But these are your standard sort of tags. So a lot often they'll ask you a question and say, what is, um, you know, rec what, what's occurred to recreate this? And it'll probably be H1 or something on those lines. So you should be mindful of the size, but they have to be too strict on that. So we've got H1 for headings, hence heading one. We've got a P for paragraph. So this is some paragraph text like that. And you can see we've got some text on there, nice and easy. What else do we need to know? We need to know anchor, image, and div. Okay, so divs will be more important when we do CSS, but div divides up your page. Um, what that means is we can have like certain parts. So I'm going to show you a little bit of CSS here. So I'm going to say div ID equals um, part one slash div and put the paragraph text in there. It won't look any different. If I do this, I press run, it'll look exactly the same. Well, I've got it twice. But if I do exactly the same again, copy that, paste it in and have part two, what I might do is have a different background color later on, okay? Which we'll worry about in a second. We'll just get some of the bits done as well. So 
at the minute I've got my normal one and then I've got my um, two divs. So what I can do is I can add in what's called a style tag. Now this is getting a little bit above and beyond. See I've got some red on here. Um, so I can do style equals background dash color and then red and I can copy that for this one as well um, here. And what we'll see is the first one should be normal. And as I've done some daft, which I have, I then put the speech mark on there. It should now have a red and a green. So these are our dividers. We can separate different bits. Now you wouldn't do it in the, well, you can do it, but this is what's called inline styling, which we'll cover specifically in later video. But we wouldn't necessarily do this. We do it in a separate CSS file. We do it in here. But again, we won't worry about that for now. Next, we want image. So I can do image source, so SRC equals, and then what are our images called? Width equals 100. Um, I'm going all JavaScript on here. Ooh. Height equals 100, like that. And if I get a picture, so if I just go on to unsplash.com, just get the first picture I see, so the picture is moon. Download that. Upload a file from my downloads, which is this one here. I'm going to rename it so it's not as big. Rename, I'm just call it moon.jpg. Like that, and I can just put moon.jpg. Let me show a nice little picture of a, of a moon. There we go. Now I've put that in that div so it's green, so I can stop that from happening by just moving this closing tag. So every tag you've got needs a closing tag, except for image doesn't. Um, if you don't close it, it'll become a part of that div. So that's that. Next thing you might want to do is some bullet points. So I'm going to say an unordered list, so it's UL. You see it closes that for us. And I'm going to say LI. And I might say um, bullet point one and bullet point two. So that's an unordered list. And if I want it to be numbered, I can do exactly the same thing, but I can change the UL to an ordered list, which is an OL. Like that. Run that there, and it automatically numbers them for us as well. And every if I put another one on there, even if I don't write bullet point two or whatever, I just write like that, it'll put a three on there as well. So that's that. Now the other thing you might want to do is add in an anchor or what's called a hyperlink. Okay, so we do anchor. Hyperlink reference href equals that HTTP colon slash slash www.google.com and then we put what links is so click me for Google slash a like that we've got a nice little link there click that and it should take us to Google now let's just there you go take us to Google and that's why it's absolutely fine sometimes it doesn't quite work inside this is an internal link. Is external, so you should just run that by pressing this button here, open a new tab, you can go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's look back to the spec. So we've done link, we've done title, we've done body, we've done the H's, we've done paragraph, we've done image, we've done the href, form and input we're doing later on, we've done paragraph, list, ordered list, and unordered list. Now script, you'll see in my previous videos I've already done, but I will cover that specifically. But that is the very, very basics. So obviously then you can build up a site, what I recommend you do is make like a little about me site for now. But what would be a really good thing to do is once we get through a few of these lessons is to start actually making like a portfolio site to put all your games and things on. So you've got future employers and things. You can just send them a link to your replit or host it probably if you want to. And then they can go ahead and look at all your stuff. And it's all a nice one nice place. So real simple. I know it wasn't the best video. Um, but those are your basics. So we're going to cover HTML today, which we've done. Then we're going to look at CSS, some scripting, some JavaScript you need, and then we'll look at specific things like how to make navigation bars, how to design a website properly and things like that. So hopefully it was nice and helpful. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.